Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Just a little bit of an early morning today because we've got to cut that field and we've got to get things ready to uh, to do some more harv uh, not harvesting. Uh, we do want to harvest that field eventually, but it's not quite ready yet. I think it's going to be a couple more weeks and then it'll be good. I had a quick look uh, yesterday and it wasn't ready. Um, could probably harvest it but i want it i want it fully because we in 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 the end we only want the straw but also now that we've got the chickens actually we do want the wheat so yeah and it's just not not quite ready yet a little bit longer maybe a couple of weeks two or three weeks and it, it should be good to go the grass this grass is all good to go that field over there has germinated uh, again and it is growing well so yeah, chickens do need some feed, but they still have a little bit. They're still pretty okay for now. So we're going to probably, I don't know, maybe buy them a bag. I think, I think we're probably going to buy them a bag. And we need to obviously figure out the silage option for this. So this is all going to be silage. We've got enough hay now for another cut. Uh, those two bales and then we've got this is pretty much full we've got some we've got enough straw there the straw that straw will last us until we get that and then obviously the food that we've got in the in for the cows here um the tmr here will last still a little bit we do obviously need straw for the floor we still yeah we definitely need some more straw on the floor that is a weird rhyme but we do need that so today early up because we need to cut that figure out the the wrapping and the silage option for that so that that can start fermenting and potentially get some more wheat for the chickens so that's pretty much the plan for today we're going to jump pretty much straight in um firstly we need to get to the other shed and then grab the grass the mowers again the cutting should go pretty quick to be honest Although, actually, this is a pretty big field now. I'm quite excited to see how much that little bit of extra we did um, will give us. I mean, we got extra, we got more from this field than we've got from those two fields combined. Really. Like, if we count the extra one that's still in the bale there, which was seven bales. And I think we got six from the other two fields combined. So, if we get anything above, like, I think eight on those two field on that field now the one the, the one that we combined the two that we combined into one com combined it, combined it into one uh that will make me happy i think it'll be great if we can do that i will quickly show you the eggs there's nearly a thousand eggs now uh they've been hat uh, making eggs quite well not hatching hatching is when the eggs actually hatch and chickens come out we don't want that to happen and I still there's still more eggs literally every day um, I need to I need to put the eggs into the trays so I'll just show you through here you'll see there's still more eggs on the shelf there and yeah we've got we've got a couple of cartons there which is which is great uh, so yeah it's going well the farm is doing well it's definitely achieving its uh, its purpose a goal you know its goals it's it's moving forward. Maybe not always at the speed that I want it to, but it is moving forward. Right, we're going to actually start, I think, mm. see, this is a problem with having an L-shaped field. My OCD does not know where to start now. <laughs> I'm going to start on this side, I think. Do a, oh, a little bit in the, in the wheat there. We're going to, push over this way and create a, a little bit of a hedgerow probably hedgerow around the whole field and then we'll we'll do the rest right so i'm gonna grab the drone the drone is in here next to me uh, i'm gonna get that up and get it all going so this will be a time lapse so for now sit back relax and enjoy the ride
Alright guys, so uh, we've still got two swaths left. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit here. Um, as you would have probably noticed, and as you can see now, while pulling the, the baler, the tractor actually re not really struggles, like it's working, like it does the job, but it is definitely, especially this uphill coming back um, the opposite direction from where we're going now, it's, it's finding it quite tough. Uh, I noticed it on the mowers as well, like it, it proper struggled, struggled, not struggled, struggled to get up these hills. I had to literally drive up the other way every time just because it just couldn't do it. So we definitely need to have a look at getting, like see there, like it's really struggling. Now I can do this, turn it off and then go back up, but it is a as soon as the the baler is working it's struggling it's have finding it really really difficult so yeah we definitely need to have a look at getting a another tractor or upgrading this one to another tractor um ideally i think it would be good if we could get another tractor that is maybe bigger and stronger than this one well it has to be bigger and stronger than this one um we don't necessarily need to do that right now, but we do need to do that uh, fairly soon. Um, you know, the the grass operation is arguably one of the bigger parts of our farming operation. And if we're constantly struggling, you know, eventually we're going to get more and more fields. And, you know, it is quite important that we that we upgrade at some point in the near future especially if we decide to maybe get a baler that can actually wrap you know one that's maybe heavier if we if this one breaks whatever the situation is hopefully this one doesn't break it should last us for quite a while it's still in a pretty good state so uh nick did a good job on that i'm just quickly running around making sure i'm picking up all the all the pieces that i might have missed i think i pretty much got it Got it all, yeah, I think so. Right, so... Obviously, the bale that is currently in there is not quite a full bale yet. Did we just unload? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. I want to fold this up. It's folding up. And... Yeah, I mean, still... Let me just jump out and have a quick count here. So, we've got one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not counting that top one there because that was actually the first one that came out. So I'm kind of counting that as the previous harvest or as that field's harvest. Uh, so we've got nine and I think we've got two over here. I'm fairly confident. Maybe just one. Oh yeah, there's two. Ten, eleven. So we've got eleven bales off of this. Let's just make sure from, from the top. One two not counting this one three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah eleven bales and then obviously whatever is in the next one in in the still in the baler so eleven full bales significantly better than the previous harvest on these two fields so i'm quite happy with that obviously not a lot not a crazy amount but a good amount you know a very good amount i'm quite happy with that uh that silage will probably last us quite a while that's 11 bales what's each bales probably seven thousand liters so yeah that's seven thousand liters of well it's it's a lot it's seventy thousand seventy seven thousand liters of silage essentially that will um yeah that'll definitely last us for quite a while probably not the entire year but for a while and we're definitely going to get to a point oops, where we're going to have to start storing it so i'm definitely uh keen on getting another shed in here firstly because we are running out of space for our equipment anyway but also secondly because we will need to store some equipment um fairly fairly well we're gonna have to store a lot of bales and silage in the very near future uh all of the silage we've got here all of that will become silage will be stored for quite a while we'll obviously get in maybe another two or three months we'll get another harvest there which will be another stored 
harvest then another month after that we'll get here so throughout the year we're going to get probably about three or four cuts off of either of these well both of those fields so yeah definitely worth looking at more storage now we can put a lot of story we can put a lot of stuff in here we still got the extra bay open here uh open there so we can do that and you know, maybe maybe sort this storage out slightly better. Maybe instead of putting the seed like that and the, the lime and all. We will obviously actually at some point stop using um, fertilizer because we'll use the slurry. So that's another good thing. We could maybe even put the... There's enough space here to maybe actually put them like here, you know, on this line. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that, actually. That'll work. So we can maybe use one of these. Actually, maybe use two of these bays. Maybe this one for for hay. We will kind of need three, won't we? We can do that. One. Yeah, we maybe need three. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, I'm, for now, going to have a quick, quick lunch break. And uh, contact, well, call Chad quickly and get a wrapper ordered essentially so that they can put it out give them some time and around one ish i'll go pick it up so yeah i'll speak to you guys in a sec all right so had a quick lunch spoke to chad they uh have put out uh, the bale wrapper for us so we're gonna go grab that and wrap all the bales probably not gonna pick up today not just because I'm not really that bothered about picking it up, it's it's. I want to kind of find out what I'm going to do with storage before I um, think about that. So next uh, couple of days, we'll be figuring out what, what I'm going to do there, uh, storage wise, and move stuff around. And once that's done, once I've I've established, or once I know what I'm going to do with the storage, then we'll go pick it up and and put it in the storage. You know, so. Uh, also, uh, I do need to get some mineral feed, which I actually forgot. So I might have to... Ooh, I can't carry it on here. Yeah, I'll have to go grab that with the with the truck at some point. Not too much of a rush. The current food that we've got for the cows will last us quite a while. Uh, probably the entire month. Um, the current TMR that we've got in there. So not too rushed for that. We've got a lot of time. I'm going to actually turn down here. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about that right now, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to quickly go wrap all of the bales and then yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, probably going to take us to fair, like mid afternoon ish. And then that gives me a little bit of time to actually sort out all the admin on the admin side of the farm stuff. There's always like, if you guys farm, you'll, you'll know there's a lot of admin, you know, there's. It's always paperwork. I genuinely feel like it just never stops. But it is part of the joys of farming. Hopefully that guy stops. He should. <laughs> I took a bit of a gap there, but uh, it's it's just because we got some stuff to do. We got work to do. You know, he's probably going on lunch or going back to work from lunch. Um, I'm yeah. I mean, fair enough. To be to be fair, we're probably in the same shoes here. I'm technically speaking going to work now. So yeah, sorry, mate. <laughs> anyway right a um, couple of other things that I wanted to cover here will probably I was thinking of a a uh, couple of ways a couple of things to do with the milk so we can either fill a tanker once a tanker's filled you know go sell it take it to the to the dairy or whatever the the cheese factory or wherever we're gonna take it or, or we could store it um, so you get these storage containers that, that um, well, actually maybe should have gone down. Oh, this is fine. Uh, I keep them really, really cold and you can store it for a little bit longer. And then maybe do that instead, which will allow us to sell maybe at a better price. Not sure if that'll actually work, if we'll actually be able to sell at a better price, but I kind of feel like it's worth a shot, right? I don't want to turn in here. There we go. That actually worked perfectly. Um, I don't want to miss that one. So 
We'll we'll do this line first, and then we'll come back up. So we'll turn left at the top, do that line, and then we'll hit that one. Um, because yeah, I don't want to don't want to miss that one there. All right. I'm very scared of not scared. Like it wouldn't be the end of the world. It's just we don't really have much need for our, for grass. Uh, if it was a hay bale, then that would be another story. Then maybe that's a good thing, you know, having just a hay. But what we could also probably do, now that I'm on the hay topic, uh, we'll probably end up doing this one. will be silage. The next harvest, we might have to do all hay uh, and, you know, carry on kind of alternating between the two. Or maybe do that one silage next time, this one hay. So the larger harvest is always you know, or alternating the large harvest, if you know what I mean. I feel like that might be a good idea. Because obviously, we won't necessarily run out of hay and silage at the same time, because we don't currently have the same amounts. Uh, fairly close to what's in the TMR machine or the TMR mixer. But it's not actually the same amount. So we'll have to make sure that, you know, when when we get to the next harvest to have a look at what actually we need more of and then do that accordingly. Can I maybe turn down like that? There you go. That worked. And we'll drive forward. So, I mean, this is this is going well. It's going pretty quick. And I'm, I'm quite happy with the harvest. I feel like we will we'll definitely have enough silage for a while now. Probably, I mean, I hope, to the end of, um, or at least till the next harvest of that one. Actually, I kind of hope it lasts for longer. I hope it lasts for the harvest of this one, because that might, we might have to do hay on that one again. And then just, depending on if we have enough silage, we'll have to do it on, on here again. Did I drop that? Yeah, cool. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see, obviously. It's hard to make these judgments on our first essential, you know, essentially our first year with cows. Don't know how much they're going to eat. Oh, that's a misjudgment there on my part. You know, so it's it's hard to actually know what we'll need more of and and all that stuff. So we'll we'll figure it out as we move along and as we as we do this for longer and have more experience we'll we'll figure it out it's not going to be too difficult it's just here and there we we'll might have to spend some money to actually buy more of one thing whether that's straw or silage or or hay uh we'll probably will have to do that i'm going to try and do it in a way that we don't have to do that you know try and plan it better so we don't have to do that but it's hard to know as I'm sure you guys understand, you guys are all intelligent people. I'm sure you you get it. You probably you could you're probably screaming at the at the at the screen now uh, that I should be doing this or that, you know. And uh, did I drop it? Yeah, I keep keep forgetting. I do push the button, but I'm never quite sure whether the button works 100. You know. <laughs> anyway, there was actually uh, talking about working something working. There was a a um, a John Deere on sale. That was a. a a pre-show model or a show model, a pre-used show model, uh, that was actually a pretty good price. It was 73k, and I think it had 140, you know, 246 horsepower. So it it is stronger than this one. But to be honest, I kind of feel like if we're going to spend some money buying a new tractor, it's got to be uh, significantly stronger. Like it shouldn't be something that will in a year or two have to replace again or upgrade again you know it's got to be something that will last us for a while so i had a quick look at it i didn't put it on the vlog because to be honest I, I didn't actually think i would get it and i am not um even though it's a great deal it's just for what we what we need what we've currently got and the amount of upgrade it's it's just not it's like 20 21 horsepower extra and I don't think 21 horsepower is going to last us as long as we would need. You know, I'd rather buy, I'd rather buy an older model with more horsepower and not have to upgrade it in the next 
three years, then buy a new model with with a little bit more horsepower than we've currently got, and then have to upgrade it again, you know, in a year or six months. You know, we don't know what's going to happen with with the farm. We don't know how well the farm's going to do and where we're going to we potentially have to buy fields because we will have to expand. You know, if we get more cows, the food mix will go pretty pretty quick. You know, it's uh, currently we've only got 12 cows. They will start reproducing once we inseminate them and all that stuff. You know, they the that pen can take up to 100 cows. They're going to go through that TMR really, really quickly. And we will have to expand. We will have to get more fields, especially if we then get another pen uh, with another 100, you know, having 200 cows. They will go through the food like it's it would be insane. It's going to be insane. I definitely hope. I believe we will get there. I, I really hope we will get there. Um, so then, yeah, we do have to plan as if we're going to get there, you know? We're going to get, we're going to need more straw. Uh, we already need more straw, which I'm not going to buy just yet. I'm going to try and hold out as much as I can until we get the, um, the field harvested. And then, then we'll worry about that. If we do need more straw then, um, but we, that's probably the next upgrade to the farm or the next purchase we're going to make will probably be a field to be able to make more straw, you know, and we should probably actually look at that now. If you think about it, like the, the planting season is coming up and we need to be ready for that. So maybe instead of buying a new tractor, maybe we should you know, buy a new field or two might be the better option. I don't know. It's hard. To, it's hard. It's really difficult to make sure that we do everything right. Um, especially since we're not actually making any money yet. We will be making money fairly soon. Um, the milk's starting to come in. The cows are, are starting to... Not all of them are quite there yet. I tested a couple and they're definitely... There are definitely a couple that are lactating, so we will be getting milk very soon. Um, but just not that much yet, just because it's only 12 cows, you know. So the, the eggs, the chickens are making a little bit of eggs, um, and it's going well. Like chickens are, the chickens are doing well. They're making a lot of eggs, and they will obviously hit puberty fairly soon, and then start um, actually producing more chickens. You know, maybe maybe leave some of the eggs to hatch and. You know, they the eggs will will then hatch and we'll get more chickens and then they will have more. It's it's all exponential, if you know what I mean. Like it will be growing really, really quickly, very soon. We just need to hold out a little bit longer with the zero income. <laughs> and it's stressful. Like I am stressing a little bit. You know, if we get a really, really good tractor deal, I want to be able to take that. Um, but obviously... If we can't, we can't. If we can't afford it because we, we don't have the money, then that is a problem. But yeah, I'll definitely be looking at... Uh, um, I still haven't put in any offers uh, regarding the fields over there. Uh, we talked about it, and I talked to the other farmer about it, the owner, etc., etc. But it's just not quite getting to that pull-the-trigger moment, you know? Um maybe maybe we wait to see how much we get from this field and then make the decision but i don't know if that's the right decision because then we get to the end you know of of planting season potentially and miss that window so yeah i should actually have a look at what's on there you know like if there's wheat on there now or barley on there now might be a good idea you know we could maybe maybe put in an offer of you know, a little bit more, maybe maybe two or three grand more than than it's actually worth on that 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 we were going to, because then we won't have to lease or spend the time um, prepping the field. You know what I mean? It kind of looks like it looks like there's cotton on that one. Not quite sure what's on that one. Kind of looks like wheatish. Maybe canola actually. I don't know. I mean, we don't have to buy these two. We can look at the others as well. Obviously, that one, I'm not sure. That one's still going to be a while anyway. Um, yeah, that one... That one looks like cotton. 
Yeah, this is canola. This is canola. Okay, so buying this one won't, won't have any benefit for us. This one looks like cotton. Uh, ooh, is that one wheat? That one looks like wheat. No. Is it? Barley? Ooh, we might buy this one. Uh, and that one's obviously got nothing. Right, I'm going to spend the afternoon and see if we can put in an offer for this. I think it's worth it. I think it'll be good. Right. All right. That's going to be the end of this vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you all in the next vlog. See ya.